Hello. How's everybody doing today? Good. <laughs> well, I've got three, spe three speakers here. I've got Ellery, Jack, and Kayla at the end. Who are you? Who am I? I am I'm Matthew. Are you really? I've got, I've got a couple questions for them to answer today. First being, how do you, how do you personally connect with God? Um, personally, I connect with God through worship. So many of you may know that I um, sing in the youth band here. And so I connect through God through practice and performances of worship songs. Um, I really listen to the lyrics, really um, connect with them and think about them while I sing them and hold them in my heart, not just sing them to sing them, but sing them to learn from them. So. I personally connect with God from coming to youth group and participating in the small group conversations and just learning more about him. I personally connect with God through prayer and worship music. And um, Ellery, I was going to ask you a question. How long have you been on the youth band? Do you know? I've actually been doing it since sixth grade. Yeah, so that's been a while. Quite a while. <laughs> All right. Can you guys share a time that you experienced a God moment? Um, for me, my biggest God moment was um, on the high school mission trip in 2019. We were in North Carolina doing some hurricane relief, and um, my group was at this family's house who had lost their roof from the hurricane, and we were there to just rebuild the roof. And after we were done building it throughout the week, the entire family came out to say bye to us and to thank us. And I really saw God in that moment and through the work that we had been doing and how we had served the community and seeing that we hadn't just been building a roof, but we had been showing them how God works through us and using him to work on these people's roof. Personally, I haven't had an experience but I know that's all right because it doesn't deter me from my faith. But I just know that my experience is waiting for me. That, you know, it's all right just to wait for your experience. For me, um, my experience happened a while ago on a, before I went to retreat. I had broken my ankle. And on the winter retreat, I was wasn't able to participate in the group games, but everybody there had made me still feel included, so it was still really fun, and it was a great experience. What can you do if you ever feel distant from God? <laughs> well, when we ever feel distant from God, I feel like youth group is a great place for us to come and connect with one another. And um, just our small groups are a great safe space for us to talk about just a lot. And you can always go to your small group leaders. Um, personally, I haven't. I know that he's always near me, always come helping me through situations that I find hard. But if you ever do feel distance from God, like coming to youth group is a great idea, but also just doing stuff on your own, like find, find reading the Bible, just listening to songs or even watching videos that I talk about him. Yeah, through COVID, I was feeling a bit distant from God because I really connect with God through um, like hands-on type things. So like trips and coming to youth group and being a part of youth band was how I connected with him. And since we couldn't really do those things during COVID, I felt really distant and it took me a while to get back into it. And the way I did that was just showing up and being a part of things and volunteering. So if you're ever feeling distant, just showing up and being a part of the community is a really good way to get back into it. I, I like to ask questions. So, I mean, if, if, if you ever feel distant, I mean, go to, go to the trusted adult or Megan uh, and ask, any, ask, her, ask them any questions that you have. And it's, it's just a good way to get back into it. Why is it hard or what struggles do you find when talking about God with others? <laughs> I'm thinking. Yeah, I can go. So, 
for me, I feel like when we come to youth group and then we transition back into to the week, it's it's like easy to forget like what we talked about. And I feel like most of the time when we're talking about God, we feel like it's easier to talk about God like in a place like this, like at youth group, but it's okay to like bring it out more, but it can be a little challenging. I think that sometimes experience in life can deter you from your faith, can make you feel distant from God. If you have something traumatic happening in your life, but I think something that brings you close to God is definitely just like learning more about Him and then feeling Him. I think those two are something that can bring you close to your faith. Can you repeat the question? Yeah. <laughs> Why is it hard or what struggles do you find when talking about God with others? Um, for me, maybe it's that two people could have a different approach to it. So if someone is just kind of really, um, like if they see God through prayer and you see it through worship, then I think sometimes it can clash a little bit. So I think just really listening to others and having a fluid conversation like that can help you connect with each other and learn more about God from one another. I'd like to add on to the question also, because I don't think I really fully answered it, but I say that um, whenever you talk about something you love, you always become an expert at it. And so, you know, if you talk to somebody who knows more about something than you do, you feel inferior to them. So if you come to church, you have this perception that everybody knows more about God than you do and that you really should just listen and not talk about it. So I think that's something that can prevent kids or people from talking about God. It kind of follows into the next question. Why do you think it can be harder to talk about God than talking about other things you love? Um, I think that sometimes when you talk about other things that you love, it seems like it's a lot more like accepted in the world like maybe it's something that's very mainstream like oh i love music so i mean like most people love music and so it's something that is easy to relate to people about but sometimes talking about your faith can be a very personal thing so you don't it's like sometimes you can be worried that you're going to offend someone and you might hold back a little bit on that so i think that things like that can really put up a barrier there I think that, like, as I said before, you may feel inferior to other people's knowledge, but also that when you talk about something that you love, you don't really feel subconscious about it. But if you talk about something that, you know, you still have questions about, which is totally fine, totally okay to, that you may feel more self-conscious to talk about it because you feel like you could be corrected at any time, that you may be told that you're thinking wrong, that you basically feel more self-conscious about it. Adding on to what they said, it's um, it's more challenging when you feel like there's judgment and um, when other people have different beliefs, different opinions, and that can be challenging. Do you think you feel closer to God when you talk about God with others? Personally, maybe when I talk about him with my friends, I feel closer, but Personally, just sermons haven't really been something that I connect with too deeply since I'm very much a hands-on person and I connect with God through things like service and volunteering and being a part of a worship circle. That's how I connect more. And um, yeah, just sometimes listening just kind of goes in one ear and out the other and being a part of something really sinks in. Um, I would say yes, talking about God makes me feel closer to him. Whenever you hear somebody make a sermon, you can be given a piece of information from the Bible, and you may perceive it one way, but if somebody tells you this is how they perceived it, it can open up your mind and really think what other ways that you could perceive it by, and that makes you know more about your faith than you would if you never talked about it. Um, for me, it's kind of like what Ellery said. It's like more of like, when you're included in something. Um, a, long, a while back I was in a confirmation group and that was really just a moving time for me just to see how me and my friends really grew in our faith together. And that was just really fun. It, it's definitely different when you're 
getting opinions from other people and how they see it. Yeah. And who is one person that you can talk to about God? Um, personally, I can talk to most people about God that I trust, which would be like my family and my friends and youth leaders. But like the one person who I love talking to it about is mainly my grandma because she grew up very in a very faith heavy house. And so she has a lot of wisdom in that realm. So I love talking to her about it because she has a lot to tell me and I have a lot of questions to ask her. And it's good to see her perspective. Um, I can talk to my leaders, my youth leaders, and family about God. But I think a few, few of my close friends I would, could definitely talk about God to. And they will accept and understand my position on it. For me, I think it would just be... Um, my small group and my small group leaders because like I said um, your small group can be like a really safe place so if you ever have any questions you can always go to your small group or your small group leaders that's the nice thing about having small group leaders isn't it is that if you have any questions you can definitely go and ask them yeah that'll be it thanks for answering a couple questions that I've had welcome does any anyone want to pray us out Hi hey guys. <laughs> I guess Hi, I will. <laughs> Bow your heads and pray with me. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this time for us to come together. I'm glad that we all showed up today, and I just pray over everybody that can't make it this great evening. And I, Lord, I thank you for all that you provide, and I pray that um, you give this group of wonderful um, teenagers the opportunity to connect more to you and I hope that just this rest of the evening goes well and we love you Lord thank you for everything amen <laughs>